Why has it been open like a piece of chocolate? Well, it's memorable, it's unusual, um, it's a treat. It resonates with people's uh, memories of previous encounters with chocolate, either positive or negative. So I tell the presenters, think about giving your audiences a figurative piece of chocolate at the beginning. A video, a cool, uh, a cool idea, a piece of information, something that is, is a treat for them to engage them in your presentation. When I talk about stories, this is a fascinating piece of research. Uh, the scientists put people into a magnetic resonance imaging machine. So they're sitting there, little he their heads are inside this little cylinder and it's thumping away, you know, and they have a, a screen in front of them. And they're reading stories from the screen as they're laying there and it's thumping away. They found that when people read about a visual scene, the visual, visual cortex lit up, activated. When they read about a sound, the auditory cortex activated. When they read about an odor, an aroma, the olfactory cortex lit up. So what that told them is that, is that when you tell your audiences a story, they don't just process it cerebrally, not just the cerebral cortex. They build a visceral sensory model of the story in their heads. So that's why stories are so engaging. So if you start with a story, or you include a story, in your uh, presentation, you're, you're creating a visual, uh, I mean, a, ver uh, a sensory, visceral model of the story in your audience's brain. So that's why stories are so bad.